I'm represented by Marla Dell Talent in San Francisco across the board, which means that they represent me for everything acting, um, modeling, print, fit modeling, voiceover, everything. They send me all kinds of auditions. Recently, I've received a lot of comments about how to get an agent, especially starting out. So today I'm going to explain how I was signed by MDT in San Francisco and then where they represent me and what kind of jobs they've been getting me along the years. I've been with MDT since about 2017 and I was honestly very, very scared about auditioning for agencies because I didn't know what it was like at all. I did a little bit of research. I just Googled top agencies in the San Francisco Bay Area and MDT was one of them. And I also had actor friends who were represented by MDT so I knew, okay, they have a good reputation online and they have a good reputation from people that I know in real life. So I just submitted to MDT and Nilo Agency and I was super surprised that they immediately were like, hey, we wanna have a meeting with you. I submitted online as well as I had a friend referral. Somebody who was represented by MDT sent them an email and said, hey, I recommend Belgica. I've worked with her in the past. She just uh, submitted online. If you're an actor in the San Francisco Bay Area and you do want to get represented by an agency that's open to newer actors or actors without experience or models, they do have on their website that they're open to newer people and that you have to be two to three hours away from the San Francisco Bay Area. This does not mean flying, this means driving because if you get booked in a job, they want to trust that you will easily be able to get there. They do require a few photos, but you can see all of the information on their website as well as my face on their website. If you wanna increase your chances of actually getting a meeting with them, it does say that you don't have to have professional photos and that might be true, but of course, like if you, present yourself more professional. They're obviously gonna take you more seriously. You just want your photos to have at least good lighting, even if you take them on your phone. I've taken really good photos on my phone for auditions and just make sure that it looks professional. Even if it's not professional, that it looks professional. On the submission form, they don't have a place for a reel, like a link so you can show them your acting. If you do have that, I would suggest to include it and then if you don't have one, make one. You can just record some scenes at home and send it in so they can really see what you can do right now and you can let them know what your goals are as far as print modeling or theatrical acting, whatever it is. If you have a professional referral, somebody in the industry in the area that can contact MDT and say, hey, I highly recommend them they're in my acting class or they've shot these commercials with me, whatever, that would be great for a professional to send over a recommendation. And for a smaller market like the San Francisco Bay Area, you can also ask a fellow actor friend who is represented by MDT. But if they're not willing to refer you, do not take it personally. If an actor friend of mine were to ask me to recommend them to MDT, nine times out of 10, I would say, no, not right now, because I want to have worked with you or directed you or just in any capacity worked with you in the acting environment, um, seen that you're never ever late, seen that you are hardworking and that you are worth putting my head on the line because when I recommend somebody, I really want the agency or whoever to be like, oh my gosh, Belgica, thank you so much, they're amazing. Like I want the person that I recommend to for sure be better than me. As far as my experience with MDT, they do represent me in San Francisco. It's extremely rare that they send me castings for um, Southern California, which for Southern California, I usually self-submit because I don't have an agent yet, but I've booked commercials with them. I've booked voiceover and I also booked the YouTube shorts um, video, which is like a commercial. Let me give you a recap of the auditions that I got this month. Also, if you've never seen my Saturday vlogs, usually on this vlog, I will share with you what I auditioned for this month and how I got it um, but this month I did one audition on my own through self-submission and that was for a monologue slam competition the Yatu Sabes monologue slam and so that's the one I did and then MDT got me eight auditions three of them were voiceover one of them was a host audition for a YouTube channel three were commercial jobs and one of them was print so you can see that MDT gets me auditions from a little bit everywhere personally I would like and am more focused on theatrical work so TV film something that's scripted in like scenes you know obviously commercials are scripted but it's different it's commercials. So 
I am happy with MDT with what they are able to offer me. Hopefully in the future, we have more theatrical stuff in the San Francisco Bay Area so that they can provide more auditions for me. This is a tiny, tiny, tiny look into what MDT, of course, does for me and every other actor. I'm sure every actor has a different experience with MDT because they are different people. What agencies do is that they get you auditions based off of what you look like, your headshots, your demo reels, like your voiceover reel. So they are submitting to a bunch of things. And then what I see is the auditions where casting was actually interested in me um, in sending an audition. This is just the auditions that I got in August from MDT. And I am currently looking for an agent in LA so that I'm able to audition for more TV and film because um, that's just not as available in the San Francisco Bay Area. On this vlog, I also do an actor check-in. So if you've never seen one of these vlogs, I tell you what I did this week uh, for my acting career, and then you do the same so we can hold ourselves accountable. So tell me in the pinned comment, what did you do this week to move forward your acting career, whether it was read a play or start watching a show for research, whatever it is. Um, I memorized, I do memorization practice and I did that three times this week. And then I did scene study three times, industry research twice. I wrote a scene that I'm going to use for a self tape audition. So I, I listened to Audrey Helps Actors, the podcast. One of the things she said was to create a real for a specific thing. I absolutely love Abbott Elementary on Hulu if you haven't watched it. It is so funny. So I wrote a scene where I am a new PE teacher and I did a little bit of scene study for that and I memorized it. I skated six times this week. I did gratitude twice. So all of these things I work on. Oh, and before I continue, I also told you guys that I would update you on my vision board. Last week we took a look at my goals and I updated them to be just slightly more realistic to where we are right now. So here is my vision board. I updated everything that I talked about last week. I want to create these shorts. Uh, I want to be in three co-star roles, which I know is a huge goal. And I want to make $70,000 after taxes this year, be in a Christmas commercial and do some workshops in Meisner, improv and commercial so I can actually book more. If you're a new actor or this is your first time submitting to agencies, it is pretty likely that you don't have self tape gear so I have a video right here that shows you a really good uh, self tape kit for only $72 everything you need for a self tape audition is right there 